you doing? Trucker G here again. Well, we're at Rand McNally. They went to the Gatch Truck Show and they premiered a new a new product. And well, they sent me they sent me that product. It's the Clear Drive 180. And I'd like to thank them for giving me the opportunity to do, to do this review for you. And thank them for the privilege of being the first to do this review. Well, let's take a look and see what we got here. Like I said, it's the Clear Drive 180. Brand new. Um, let's kind of read the box here and see what it says. It says premium sound, best in class in audio, engineered for clear and natural reproduction of sound, active noise cancellation with push but with with the push of a uh, push of a button. <laughs> Can't even speak today. Uh, comfort on ear padded ear cups, ergonomically designed, ultra soft memory foam. Okay. Um, says it's adaptable. It's got a re removable second earpiece for hands-free calling. The boom mic swings out of the way when not in use, and it mutes the microphone. Able to switch mono sound from ear to ear, comfortable and adjustable. Says designed to last, oil-resistant material, more than 20 hours of talk time, and more than 20 hours of music playback time wirelessly. Uh, the mic, they claim it's crystal clear calls, flexible high quality boom mic, digital noise suppression, blocks background noise. Okay. Well, we'll give her a try. Well, let's open it up and let's see what this thing looks like. Um, as far as the review goes, I've never used none of the Rand McNally headsets, so I really don't know much about it. I have watched a lot of the reviews on the Rand McNally uh, Clear Drive 200. And what I've seen the different between the difference between the two, this one and that and that 200, looks like the big difference is the the boom mic on on the 200. It's not adjustable, and this one claims it's adjustable. Uh, what I don't get, Rand McNally, is why would you go from a 200 to a 180? I did send an email into to the person that I have been corresponding with there, Rand McNally, and. I haven't got to answer that question quite yet, but as soon as I do, I'll let you know. Uh, like I said, let's take a look at it. Let's see what we got here. Let's see if I can do it without ripping this box. Oh, just got to be smarter than the box. <laughs> let's see. Well, that's pretty nice. It's got a hard carrying case, and I believe the 200 came with a hard carrying case also. I've seen a lot of guys talk about. Uh, on the reviews of the 200 they didn't see a use for the the hard case me I think it's actually pretty cool um, where it would come in handy for me is I do take my head, headset into the house when I'm home my grandson likes to grab a hold of it and I guess if I put it in this case he hadn't quite figured zippers out so I might be alright let's take a look see what we got in here how it comes packed. It's actually a pretty nice looking headset. Like I said, I've never used none of the Clear Drive products or the Ram McNally headset products. I um, always use mostly Blue Parrot. But heck, if it's nice, I might just become a Ram McNally fan. <laughs> Here's the the other part to the, to the headset. It's got a nice I, I kind of like that. It's got a nice cushiony spot for the for the head there. I mean the bl blue parrot. I mean, like I said, I I like the blue parrot, but that can get uh, that can get a little uncomfortable after having the headset on on all day. Take a look here. We got it packaged up real nice. Um, actually, a pretty good looking headset. Let's see what else we got in this bag here. Oh, okay. An aux cord. I guess so you can plug it into the headset and into your phone, listen to your music if you're not listening to it wireless, wirelessly. USB, mini USB, not the USB C, which is pretty common for any headset, is the mini USB. Okay, let's take a look at this headset itself. Let me try it on here. 
I tell you what, that's actually pretty comfortable. Yeah, and I, actually, I'm pretty surprised. That is that is pretty comfortable. Mike Ben's nice. I like that. Um, I know a lot of you are gonna say, well, you shouldn't use the you shouldn't use the double headset for when you're driving down the road. And yeah, I agree with you. You shouldn't have two two on your head. Um, but that's what that second that second piece is for is so you can make it just for one um, otherwise you just use it as a regular pair of headphones but yeah this is pretty much what it looks like uh, I'm not gonna try to unscrew this thing and or take it take it off hey. without checking it out first I don't want to break it and let me use this thing for a week or two and see how I like it and I'll let you guys know. Hey, I appreciate you watching.